Hi guys, I'm Megan Brightwood and welcome to my channel, or if you're a returning viewer, then hi, nice to see you again. I'm so glad that you're back. If you haven't already, certainly take a moment to hit that subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. I do post on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so there's been a lot of content going out, and if you don't want to miss anything, then that's going to be your best bet. So, some of you may know that my husband celebrated a birthday this past weekend, and what you might not know is that probably within the last year, I've kind of gotten into cake decorating for my family. So, last year, my son Charlie got a little um, space alien birthday cake from Toy Story, and I made myself a little pumpkin, and Evie got two cakes this year. She got one that was decorated like the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland, and one that was decorated like the Cheshire Cat from the same movie. So yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that. So this time around, I thought that I would do a Mickey Mouse themed birthday cake. And I did go to Google to kind of get some inspiration, and I did find one picture in particular that um, I really kind of went off of, and I'll see if I can find that picture again so that I can link it below and you can see the original. Uh, but yeah, it was so much fun to make and I thought that I would just kind of share with you how I went about decorating this cake. And I do also want to make a huge disclaimer that I am not a baker and I want to make that very, very clear. I don't bake often, I just kind of like the decorating part. So yeah, I will also link the recipes that I used down below as well. So if you are interested in how I made my husband's birthday cake, oh, and by the way, it looked like this. I thought it turned out really well. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in how I went about making this, then just keep on watching. So we're gonna start with the fondant and I have a double boiler set up right here and a little cook that's <laughs> gonna be helping me. So we've got a bag of the little jet puffed mini marshmallows and Evie, be careful and dump them all into that bowl. Thank you. And then do you want to get your spatula and stir until those are all melted up, okay? Might take us a little while. We want to melt them nice and slowly, right? <laughs> do you hear them? I do. They sound yummy, don't they? You should get some. Maybe I could have a Mickey Mouse bow day too. Well, maybe. We'll have to see. And then I can taste test how many I want to. Oh, perfect. Okay, so our marshmallows are melted, so we're going to take this off of the heat here. And Evie, be very careful and pour two cups of powdered sugar in there. Dun, 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 and I start stirring again. Yep, you can stir. So Evie's just finishing up some stirring here, and then we're going to turn it out onto a uh, greased surface. So you can use like vegetable oil. Um, I use like spray olive oil. <sighs> But yeah, and then we're just going to basically knead it until it looks right. And I might add a little bit of water, a little bit of powdered sugar, just depends on the consistency. Is it getting a little tough there, Evs? No. Okay, well I think it might be time for mommy to work it a little bit. So after some kneading, this is what my fondant looks like. It's not quite as sticky anymore. I will probably still be working with some olive oil just to kind of keep it from getting sticky. But now what I'm going to do, I found a picture on Google that I liked. So we're going to try to kind of replicate that a little bit. And to do that, I think I'm going to go um, split this in half and color one section red, and then the other section I'm going to divide a little bit. So probably like, I don't know, a little over a quarter of black, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow and then leave some white. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like. So I've got my fondant all colored. I've got my red, black, yellow, and then a little chunk of white. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the refrigerator for at least an hour. Um, honestly, we're doing this way ahead of time, so I'm not too concerned about it. But I do want to try to get a little cake topper done, like a little Mickey Mouse ear kind of thing. So I made this little tinfoil mold that I'm hoping 
will uh, work for a hat. And hopefully I'll be able to explain all that in a minute. But um, yeah, I'm gonna let this cool down so that it's a little bit sturdier to work with and hopefully make a little ear topper for Joe's cake. So it's the next day, so my fondant was able to just kind of chill in the fridge overnight. And so I went ahead and made some of the decorations this morning. So here is the Nikki head. And I used that little tin foil mold underneath to kind of keep it in shape. So let me see if I can show you without breaking this. Um, there's the tin foil mold underneath and I just put the fondant over top and then made some ears, stuck them on some toothpicks and then into the actual mold itself. So I've got a light, nice little Mickey hat there. And then I did a couple of little ovals and then squished them down into kind of these shoe shape forms. And I used a toothpick to push that down and kind of create that heel portion. Um, and then I did also try to taper it a little bit kind of towards that heel end. And then I've got my little buttons. And then I also have this over here that says Joe. It's supposed to go on the hat, but I'm gonna try to let it just sit here for a little bit and hopefully dry out so that I can move it. Um, but yeah, so that's where we're at. So I went ahead and made the cake, and like I said, I'll leave all the recipe information in the description box. So I'm not gonna talk about like how I did it or anything, cause I'm not a baker, I just follow the directions. But I'm gonna go ahead and roll out my fondant and decorate this guy, and then I'll clean up the plate a little bit, cause I did get some frosting on there. Okay, so this might be embarrassing for some of you, but this is probably my best attempt at putting fondant on a cake. So. It looks all nice and neat. I still have to clean up the plate, but I did have just a bit of tearing in the back here that I tried to make look as nice as possible, but it really doesn't look very good. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the decorations on and then we'll be done. Okay, super proud of how this turned out. I mean, I'm sure it's not great, but it's not bad either. I think it's a pretty solid amateur attempt. So. There is my finished little birthday cake for Joe. I really like it and I think he's gonna like it too, so yeah. So that was it for how I decorated my husband's birthday cake. I had a lot of fun doing this and it was really kind of fun to have Evie in the kitchen helping me with all of it. I mean, it does get a little bit trickier to have a four-year-old in the kitchen, but yeah, it was fun. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit different than the other ones that I've done on this channel, but if you're interested in seeing more, uh, both my son and myself have birthdays coming up, so I might be able to do more if you're interested but it's all up to you. Uh, I will probably continue decorating my cakes anyway. So anyway, I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!